Hi mathematicians. In this video, we're going to today learn how to solve word problems that involve ratios. Um, and it's really important that we, even though there's a lot of text here, that we read the problem very carefully and stop whenever we see uh, important information and make sense of that information right off to the side over here. Okay? So as we read this, we're going to stop and make uh, sense of the information. Here we go. A county superintendent of, of highways is interested in the numbers of different types of vehicles so different types of vehicles the numbers of different types of vehicles that regularly travel within his county so this is somebody right here this county superintendent of highways just wants to know the numbers of different types of vehicles that drive in his county there's nothing really important there, but it gives us some sense we're talking about vehicles. Now let's continue on. In the month of August, so that's important, in August, a total of 192 registrations were purchased. Stop. All right, a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks. So for passenger cars and pickup trucks. So this 192 registrations is for uh, passenger cars and pickup trucks. So for cars and trucks. Let me write that piece of information down. That's very important. 192 registrations. I'll put regs for short. For passenger cars, so cars and pickup trucks and trucks. So this 192 represents registrations for cars and trucks, all right, at the local Department of Motor Vehicles. Did I take care of the information in that sentence? Yes. Let's place a check mark right after the, the sentence. Okay, next. The DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles, reported that in the month of August, so again, same in August, same in August, for every five passenger cars registered, this is beginning to sound like ratio um, relationship language. So for every five passenger cars registered, there were seven pickup trucks registered. So we have registrations, registrations. For every five passenger cars that were registered, seven trucks were registered. So I can write a ratio in that order, five to seven. 5 to 7 is the ratio of cars registered. 5 talks about cars. So cars to trucks. Cars to trucks registered. All right. And let me draw a picture of that. Let me draw a picture of this ratio right here, 5 to 7. What are my labels going to be? What the labels are here? Car and trucks. So these are car registrations. And these are truck registrations. OK. And how many units am I going to draw for car? Five. There are five there. Five units. There you go, there are five equal units. And then to trucks will be seven. That's five right there. And seven will be about right there. Let me just make sure these all line up. There's one. There's two. Follow the line straight down. Three. Four. Five. 6 and 7. All right, so the ratio is 5 to 7. All right, I took care of the information in that sentence. And this is all in August. But now, look here, it says, so I took care of this in my model. Now let's take care of this. Registrations. These are all the registrations that took place in August. So if 
cars and trucks are are um, the registrations that 192 describes, then all of these units right here, all of these 12 units, 5 here and 7 there, are going to be 192 registrations. To show the total quantity, 192 registrations, I'm going to draw a bracket that shows that both the car and the truck are included in this. So these are the registrations. These are the registrations. All right. So I took care of that piece, that piece of information. Both pieces are modeled so far in my diagram. Let's go on to the next part. How many of each type, so how many of each type of vehicle, so I want to know how many cars, so I'm going to put a question mark here at the end. I want to know all of this. You could alternatively make a bracket that looks just like this and put a question mark up there. But if you want to quickly show that you're trying to find the, the entire tape for that label, then you can put the question mark at the end. And I also want to find the question mark. Uh, I want to find the total number of trucks. So I'm going to put a question mark right there. How many of each type of vehicles, cars and trucks, were registered in the month of August? Okay, so we're still focused on this information. All right, let's take a look here. In order to, in order to solve this, I have to first know something. Each of these units right here, this unit, this one, 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 and this one. Each of these units, they're all the same size, so they're equal. If you have equal sized units and you have a quantity that is being split amongst those equal sized units, then you're going to do division. That's the meaning of division. And when you do division, you're going to find the size of only one of these units. Okay, you want to find the size of just one unit. So we're going to take 192 and we're going to divide that by how many equal units we have, how many parts there are. And there are 12. So we're going to divide by 12. All right, uh, 12 goes into 192 uh, 10 times. Twelve times one ten is one hundred twenty. There's seventy two left. Twelve goes into seventy two um, six times. Six times twelve is seventy two. So one hundred ninety two divided by twelve is sixteen. That means each of these units is sixteen registrations. So if I want to find out how many registrations go with cars. How many units do I have? One, two, three, four, five units. Of what number? 16. So 5 times 16 should tell me how to solve how many, how many car registrations there were. And there were 80 there, 80 car registrations. Let's go for the next one. How many units? 7 units down here for trucks times 16. There are 112, 112 truck registrations. So how many of each type of vehicle were registered in the month of August? There were 80 for cars. There were 80 registrations for cars. And 112 registrations. for trucks. And that answers the question in a complete sentence. There we go. And if you look at these two numbers right here, 80 plus 112, it should add up to 192 registrations. Okay. Um, so that is how, how you solve uh, using tape diagrams. Uh, I hope that you understand that the total will be divided amongst some number of equal sized units and whatever that is um, will tell you the size of one of the units and once you know the size of one of the units you should be able to find out the size of each of the other units as well because they're all equal so they're all the same alright I hope you enjoyed this video and learned how to model
uh, ratio problems using tape diagrams.